This is our 87 Chevy Corvette C4. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all the cosmetic blemishes. And then there will also be some video clips of the interior. So this is a single owner car. Uh, we purchased it from a family friend. Uh, she had bought it new and uh, only put 10,000 miles on it over the course of her 32 year ownership. Really, really impressive survivor. It's never had any paintwork, never had any damage. The only thing on the car that's not original is the tires. Uh, those were replaced in 2009. They remain in very nice shape. The glass is all clear and crack free. Uh, as are the signals, lights and signals are all functional. Original 16 inch saw blades are in great shape. It's 20 degrees out in Chicago. The car does not smoke excessively, runs like a top. Truly on the road, feels like a new car. Buy with confidence. It is just cold here. The car does have the removable. Uh, removable target top, we'll call it. No weird waviness of the nose or tail panels like we sometimes see on these cars. Really impressive. Weather stripping is totally mint throughout. This car has been garage kept since new. It's actually owned by a real automotive enthusiast family. They own a handful of racetracks throughout the Midwest. And this was uh, this was mom's weekend cruiser of the race car family. Clearly took excellent care of it. Thing has been babied. Pop-up headlights are fully functional. And now here are all the cosmetic blemishes on the car. That black plastic little front lip has some scuffs on it. To be expected, the car has really low clearance. A couple little chips down here, you can see below the fog light. Then one tiny little, I don't wanna call it spider web, but really the only visible sign of age of the paint right there at the corner of the headlight driver's side. Very minor. Work our way back. Decent chip there on the uh, rear view mirror. And then a couple more chips uh, around the keyhole on the driver door. Get down here, the rocker's nice and clean. Then you get to the front. There's a scratch there where the uh, driver front fender meets the door. around to the back, very clean. You can see just a couple little little chips there on the rear bumper corner. Passenger side, very nice. Just look at the rockers. Again, a little chip on there. Overall, really impressive survivor. Now on to the interior. Uh, digital dash display is fully functional. Odometer reading of 10,000 is known to be accurate. Dash top is super nice. There's one little spot of adhesive that you'll see. Other than that, really, really nice. Door panels, no kicked open markings, nothing like that. Uh, the radio is functional. Uh, air conditioning has been converted to R134. Uh, blower motor works. Power windows are good. Locks are good. These are all the visible signs of age in the interior. There's a little scuff there in front of the handbrake. Very small. And then corner of the dash, you can see just a little scrape there. Then there is a spot of adhesive on the passenger door sill, you can see there. 
and then there's also a small spot of adhesive on the center of the dash. No other, you know, warping cracks, nothing like that. Very, very, very nice. You can see there, just like a tiny, tiny little, I don't even want to call it a scuff, by the corner of the radio. Now the seats, graphite leather, super nice, except there's that one little spot in the top corner. You can see the stitching is coming undone a little bit. Easy fix. No other scuffs or punctures or anything like that throughout the interior. Great carpeting, very nice up front. Pretty tired in the back, to be honest with you. A little bit of discoloring in the, uh, the rear cargo area. Overall, very impressive. Underbody is killer, drives very well.